Hey there everyone, this is Hitesh and welcome back to Hello World series. A series where we are talking about prerequisite of the programming and how you can get started in the programming of any kind of language out there. In today's topic, we are going to discuss focusing on choosing the right operating system and choosing the right IDE before we get started into the programming. So let's get started out here. If you are watching this video for the very first time, do remember to check out the entire series on the YouTube because I have created an entire series out there talking about all of the programmings and there are a couple of videos that I've already recorded. So go ahead, check them out. So if you're watching this video out there, I'm assuming that after a lot of headaches and doing some talks with other professional programmers, lot of internet reading of the blogs, lot of watching of the YouTubes, you have finally decided what programming language you're going to choose. Maybe you want to go into the iOS, Android, desktop, web application, anything, but now you are focused on that. Now, what should be the next step before you get started out here? Now, the next step is should be choosing the right operating system for your programming and choosing the right IDE for that. So before we get started for that, let me give you a quick example. Now, I was in my hometown and I was looking for the other YouTubers to get collaboration with them for entire series of a programming skills or maybe a couple of videos out there. So I went to a nearby institute out there looking for some Android developer out there. And I heard about this institute, I'm not going to name it, but I heard quite a lot about good words about it. I went out there to talk to the professor out there that, hey, would you like to collaborate with me for a series or maybe a couple of videos, giving some valuable tips to the student. And the moment I saw him, he was working on the Microsoft Windows 7, I immediately dropped the idea. Now you might be judging me based on that, but some of his computer were running XP where the users were just practicing and his own computer was running Windows 7. Now why I dropped the idea? Because I have a special type of audience out there. My student always expect that I'll be working out on the latest technology out there with real world, practical and crisp example without hassle and dazzle. And one of the key point is working on the latest technology out there. I'm not saying that he should be having a Mac or he should be having the latest studio Microsoft. I'm not expecting that, but at least he should be updated on the operating system. Also, he should be aware of the latest trends about how the materialistic design or the things like that are working out there. So the whole point is choose right operating system for your programming out there. If you want to be a iOS developer and you're working on Windows 7 or 10 out there, you can work out on that. There are some ways by which you can do, do that, but of course you are wasting a lot more time out there. And similarly, if you want to work out on the Android, you can be just uh, working on iMac or maybe Windows. It's equally good, but spend a good amount of time in deciding right operating system for you. Let me give you another example. Maybe you want to automate a lot of Linux stuff out there for the Linux administration or for some server administration and you might want to learn Python, but of course you have installed the Python on the windows and you are working out there and writing some script out there. There is no harm in that. You are for sure going to learn that, but I would say there is a better option. You can just install a Ubuntu or Kali Linux or anything like that. And you can get started by writing the script on that environment on which you are going to work day and night out there. So always do spend a lot of time in doing a good research of what kind of operating system you're going to work with. And on to a quick tip, if you want to go into the iOS, choose and choose Mac. Now a lot of people will jump on, hey, I'm going to work on Hackintosh, but yes, you can, but that would be a waste of your beautiful mind and your resources out there. So go ahead, choose a Mac. If you want to an Android, no problem. You can work on Windows or as well as Mac as well, but I would highly recommend a Windows for that. Again, if you want to work on the pen testing, there are a lot of operating system, Kali, Parrot, and a lot of them. So do research on that. With that, now let's move on to the other part of the game. That is choosing the right IDE. Now, again, I'm going to start with an example. Let's just say you choose an online course out there or an offline course and teacher is saying, hey, you know what? I'm going to start with the Java and open up your notepad and write this script out there or the entire code out there. Again, a bad choice. Why? Who on this God's green earth write the program on a notepad or a text pad in this era? If your teacher is doing that, 
I guess he's not updated and he might be usually working on uh, he might be usually working on the things in 2000 or 2002 or 2005. Things have changed drastically now and you might want to spend a huge amount of time in choosing the right IDE. For HTMLs and PHP, there are tons of free options out there like Bracket, Atom and a lot of other good ones are out there. Similarly, for Android, you might want to write the code in Android Studio out there or Eclipse out there or Xcode. Always spend a good amount of time in choosing the IDE. You will be spending a lot of time and you don't want to make the syntactical error out there. IDE helps you to get rid of all those nasty syntactical error that we always miss, like adding semicolons, forgetting the ending brackets, forgetting the closing braces out there and a lot of things like that. So always my tip would be spend a good amount of time in figuring out what should be the operating system and what should be the IDE for your chosen language. I know it's really, really tough to decide all of these things first of all, but you will be glad that you spend a lot of time out there. Okay, so with this, I would like to say that please do hit subscribe to my channel, do hit the like button, share these videos or entire playlist out there if you think that someone can get benefit from that. With this, I'll catch you up in the next movie.